Top experts have said that the FOC variant of Tejas light combat aircraft have been developed with a lot of improvements that were suggested after inducting IOC variants in the Indian Air Force. They also said that once all the 16 FOC Tejas fighters are delivered, Hindustan Aeronautics will convert the 20 IOC variants to FOC standard. Along with new features like mid-air refueling and GSH-23 auto cannon system, the FOC standard has received an additional fuel tank with 725 litres capacity that is installed at the centre of fuselage, thus extending its combat range. The FOC Tejas also has a better manoeuvrability and agility, and it can manoeuvre from minus 3G to 8G, after some changes were made to the mechanical system including the flaps. The Indian Air Force has been allowed to lease defence equipments under the new defence procurement procedure released by the government, which will see the procurement of in-flight refuelling aircraft at the fraction of the cost, and the Air Force will have the ability to add more refuelers without the need for actually buying the platform. Leasing will cost about 1% of the aircraft cost per month, which also makes economical sense with the current budgetary situation. The Indian Air Force can lease 6 A330 refuelers for a period of 30 years, with an agreement for another three aircraft as part of surge capability. Top experts have said that first Russian hypersonic platform is the gliding of Vanguard system, which had entered its final stage on 13 March 2020, while the second platform is the Kinjal system. While the third Russian hypersonic platform is the Sirkin anti-ship system, which has already been tested by a surface ship and will soon be launched by a submarine. The third project is said to be a top-secret project, and the most mysterious Russian platform, which is likely the Indo-Russian project to develop BrahMos-2 hypersonic system. It will use the atmospheric air as the oxidizer, and will have a rectangular fuselage, a solid fuel booster, and a developed air intake of the hypersonic straight-flow jet engine. All the employees of the Defence Ministry, as well as the Indian Army Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force have decided to donate one day's salary of around 500 crore rupees to the relief fund announced by Prime Minister Modi. The Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has announced that he will donate one month's salary to the relief fund. Tata Group has donated 1,500 crores, Adani Group has donated 100 crore rupees, and a number of government organisations have responded to the Prime Minister's announcement and contributed to the fund. The International Institute for Strategic Studies has said that the Sangrila Dialogue 2020 has been cancelled, and it was decided after close consultation with host country Singapore. Many countries have imposed travel restrictions, and these may still be enforced during the time this event would have been conducted. The organizers have promised that they would work towards an exceptionally strong event next year, 